In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you eight fast and affordable patterns to gift knit for anyone this season. So grab your current project and something cozy to drink and let's dive right in. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Wool Needles Hands Midweek Ramble. My name is Taylor, and I am going to be your host. Today, we're going to be exploring eight affordable patterns that you can gift knit for anyone this season, and each of these patterns can be knit quickly. It is almost the middle of November. Gift giving season is right around the corner and that means that gift knitting season is starting right now or actually probably even started last month. These patterns are quick to knit and the gift recipient is going to absolutely love them. And they can be knit on very small amounts of yarn, most of which are worsted. And when it comes to the affordability of the pattern, most of these are actually free and the ones that are not free are less than $5. I wanna jump right into it. We have eight to share and if you stick around to the end of the video, you can get a bonus at the very end. Okay, for the first pattern I wanna share with you guys today, this is the dumpling bag from Pearl Soho. This one popped up on my radar when I was researching the gift uh, patterns for this video. And the reason I love this so much is because it's a really versatile bag. At first glance, when you see that first photo, you think of a knitting and walking bag where you can put your project in the bag and hang it off of your arm and you can work on it on the go. And that's what I initially thought of, but then the more I swiped through, I realized this is actually just a really great versatile bag for anyone on the go. The pattern here uses DK weight yarn, but I'm pretty convinced that if you wanted to make the bag a little bit larger, you could go up one needle size and change to a worsted weight yarn or up two needle sizes to an even heavier weight yarn. Or if you wanted to make it a little bit smaller and use up some of your sock yarn, you could just size down needle wise and yarn wise and have a lot of fun with the different sizing options for this. It's really versatile in both use and in the project itself in terms of knitting it. And I love that. So this is a free pattern by Pearl Soho called the Dumpling Bag. It uses 165 yards of DK weight yarn. And I'm pretty sure that if you go diving in your stash, you probably have that already available for you in your stash free pattern, stash busting project. It's really a win-win in terms of gift knitting and this is going to land in my number eight position for affordable and fast gift knits for anyone this season. Okay, the next pattern is again a shameless plug. You have heard me talk about these a lot in the last few videos. I'm sorry, I know I wrote the pattern. It is shameless, but I have to tell you, it is really just a fantastic gift knit project and that is the Fire Pit Mitts by yours truly. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those up here. Here. Okay, they're just really great mittens. I have a pair, my husband has a pair, my mom has a pair, but they're super versatile. They come in long mitts and short mitts, depending on how you wanna wear them. The pattern is $3 US, it's worsted weight yarn, and it requires no more than 210 yards if you're knitting the long ones, and about 120 yards if you're knitting the short ones. It's a great way to bust your stash if you have a lot of worsted weight skeins, or if you really wanna bust out those sock yarns and get rid of some of those sock yarns, use them up. You can hold two of those together for a really cool marled effect and that'll give you that worsted to air and weight that you're looking for to knit the fire pit mitts. You guys, I really can't say enough good things about this and I feel completely biased and you know, take it for what it is, but I highly recommend you cast on to some of these and you will not regret it and you'll know what I mean as soon as you complete your first pair of fire pit mitts. These are just really, really fun mitts to knit. I knit my initial sample pair that I've shown a lot on the podcast. These ones here, I knit these in Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool, which is super affordable. If you are in the US and you have a Joanne near you, I believe that Fisherman's Wool is on sale right now for $9 a ball. It's regularly $13.99, not a sponsor, just letting you know. Any worsted to air and weight yarn will do. So bust your stash, knit up some fire pit mitts for all of the people that you love in your family or for yourself you won't be disappointed. Okay, the next one I'm gonna be sharing with you is one that I absolutely love. I really wanna knit some of these for myself. There they are. Rustic Cottage Dish Cloth Collection. And you can see them here, they're very, ugh. What I love about these is that really pretty contrasting stripe at the top and the bottom of the dishcloth. It gives it a really vintage look. I love the texture because they can be used in the bathroom as like a, in like you're in your shower if you're scrubbing your face. It's a really great way to exfoliate, but you can also use them in the kitchen as well for cleaning dishes or just cleaning up around the kitchen. So cute and that vintage vibe is just everything. So this is the Rustic Cottage Dishcloth Collection. The yarn that's being used here is worsted, 50 yards per dishcloth it looks like, and they're using Village Yarn in Craft Cotton Solids, 
which I believe is a commercial cotton yarn and you can use any cotton yarn that you have on hand. And I think that they're absolutely adorable. This is a free pattern also, a free download, loving it. Okay, the next design I'm going to be sharing with you is also one of my own designs. This is called the Neighborhood Hat. And actually I just uploaded it to Ravelry today because it was only for sale over on the Fiber for the People website, which is my yarn business and it had never really seen the light of day very much. I had never promoted it, but I cast it on to a neighborhood hat for my son. And so I figured I would share this with you here because it is a really great basic all around go-to staple hat, perfect for gift giving. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up here. Like I said, it's called the neighborhood hat. You can see here that when I knit this, I knit this with a stripe pattern, but this hat is just, it has really good bones. It's an all around great, kind of um, relatively slouchy. And I think that's something that you can adjust, but just a great basic hat. So it can be knit with the stripes like this or it can be knit solid and the pattern includes a chart for the stripes if you want to include stripes of your own. I knit this using Fiber for the People yarn in the Merino Erin base and I used um, six different colorways from my Signature Solids collection. I no longer offer Signature Solids dyed to order, so I will just suggest any worsted to Aran weight yarn for this hat. Sh uh, shop your stash, like I always say, because you really only need, if you want to do the stripes, you just need six skeins of worsted weight yarn. Of course, you need them to be, you know, go well together or you need one skein of worsted weight yarn or Aran weight yarn and you can knit the entire hat. So this is the neighborhood hat. It calls for um, anywhere between 180 to 200 yards of worsted to Aran weight yarn. 200 yards if you're knitting it um, on the larger size, 180 should suffice for the other two sizes. I'm knitting this right now for my son. And this is kind of all I have at this point. And one of the things I really love about this design is the really tight knit, uh, or I should say just the really firm gauge of the brim of the hat. Is that the right way to say that? It's kind of a tight gauge on the brim. So it's nice and neat looking here, very tidy stitches. I'm knitting this in the Sapphire colorway by Fiber for the People. I can't wait to get going with this because I know he's gonna love it. I'm going to be knitting this for him in just this solid color and it's a super quick knit. Because once you get past the brim, which is knit on a size three needle, the rest of the hat is knit on a size eight and it just flies. So that is the neighborhood hat. I am making one right now for my son. Great gift knit and a super fast knit as well. And one that works with any worsted to Aran weight yarn that you might have on hand and would actually be an ideal knit if you do want to use that fisherman's wool, that lion brand fisherman's wool that we've been talking about a lot lately. It would be a great one for that actually. Okay, number four is a design that I have knit before and I really love it. This is called the Simple House Slippers. And I want to say that this is a design by Temple of Knit. I'm not exactly sure the designer's name. I will link to it down below in the description box, but this is the Simple House Slippers. It's a really cute uh, DK weight pattern for a really classic pair of slippers. I have actually knit these using a worsted weight yarn in the past and it works perfectly for that as well. It's pretty easy to adjust and you can adjust the length of the slipper as you go. So you don't have to worry too much about that. It's, it's just really easy to modify for different yarn weights. I love it. I knit these a couple years ago and I'll share with you um, the ones that I have knit, but really quick, it says it uses 170 yards to 240 yards of DK weight yarn. This is a pattern that is 30, I believe it's crone, crones for just under three US dollars. I knit these, gosh, I wanna say it was, it was a couple, maybe just a year and a half ago. I did a little vlog about these and I'll link to it here and you can kind of go and see my process for these. But I added a cute little pom-pom to the top here and they're really cute. The only thing I would definitely do differently, so you can tell that I'm using a hand dyed yarn here. This is Fiber for the People yarn in the Superwash Merino DK base in the Azure colorway. I would not knit these in a Superwash Merino in future. I would definitely knit with maybe I don't know, just a much more rustic yarn. Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool would be perfect for this. Anything that's really rustic and hard wearing that's actually going to full a little bit as you wear them. You want those stitches to kind of get sticky together to hold everything together. You can see how floppy these are. Definitely really floppy and flimsy. They're comfortable, but they wear just like ankle socks. They don't feel like slippers. Yeah, they just kind of feel like socks. But the design and the pattern I absolutely love. I see myself knitting more of these in the future with a much more rustic yarn. And I love the little pom-poms in a contrasting color. 
it's kind of a cute bonus. So these are the Simple House Slippers by Temple of Knit. And I love them and I can vouch for them. Okay, so I'm newly familiar with this next design. This is my number three design. It is by Petite Knit. We all know I love Petite Knit. This is the Sophie scarf. And the way that I discovered this was because I discovered the Sophie shawl, which I believe was just released. And when I was looking into that, I noticed that the Sophie scarf had been out for a while. And then I was watching the Naughty Knitwits and the Sophie scarf popped up on there and it was absolutely adorable. So I had to go and take another dive into that pattern. I really love it. I think it looks super wearable, kind of like, um, kind of just like a bandana style around the neck, which I really love that look on anybody, um, especially in colder months where you're wearing longer sleeves or jackets, you can tie the Sophie scarf up around your neck and it just looks really chic and, and just nice and put together. Okay. So the Sophie scarf, I have that in my, um, gift giving bundle here. It's right here. Again, it's a pattern by Petite Knit. This is using a DK weight yarn. She looks to be pairing, no, there is no pairing with mohair here. She's using a cashmere yarn. Ugh, it's really lovely. And I believe the Sophie scarf comes in a couple different sizes. So you can knit a smaller one or a little bit larger one uh, for a larger person, or if you just want more volume, there's always that option. But it just look, I mean, it's garter stitch, you guys with a really nice I-cord edging that probably is, looks like an applied I-cord edging, which would be pretty easy to do. Really lovely, really chic, a great way to bust your stash and just whip up something great for one of your fashion forward friends. Loving the projects for this. Ooh, how cute is it on like a color, like a really great pop of color, like red. Ugh, so good. This pattern is not a free pattern. This is a 30 Danish Krone, which is just under four US dollars. On to number two, another free pattern that you're going to want to knit, not only for your friends and family, but also for yourself because they are one of the most cozy pairs of socks I have ever knit. This is a pattern that I knit when I was pregnant with my youngest. I wore them all the time. They, I, I remember referring to them as like sweaters for your feet. Just so, so cozy. And worsted weight socks, especially when we're talking about gift knitting, is just like the best. Super fast, super convenient, and everybody loves them. This is the Family Knit Work Socks by Yarnspirations. Now I have to show this to you using my own project page because you cannot find this pattern on Ravelry, but it is out there and I'm gonna show you how to find it. But I'm, just so you can see what they look like, I'm gonna go to them here. These are my own photos but I'm using the same kind of color scheme as the pattern and I'll go off to the pattern in just a second. So these are the family knit work socks. The ones that I knit for myself here, I knit them a little bit larger so they fit me a little bit bigger, but there are several sizes in the pattern to choose from depending on who you're knitting for. So these are just some photos of my family knit work socks. I used Patton's Classic Worsted, which is a commercial 100% wool worsted weight yarn. Hugely recommend that yarn. I absolutely love it. I actually happen to be knitting my own pair, not for myself, but for my husband. I'm knitting a pair of family knit work socks that I'm gonna share with you in just a second. And here we have the Bernat Family Knit Work Socks. It says child four to six years, but you download the pattern, you're gonna get the sizes for everybody. So you just go to download the free pattern. You'll have sizes and I actually, I don't think I have the pattern, but you have sizes for um, a baby all the way up to an extra large adult. So you have plenty of sizes for every member of the family, essentially, and the pattern is free and it's a fantastic pattern. It uses up worsted weight yarn. You can have a lot of fun with the color scheme. It's just a really great go-to pattern, especially if you like that chunky kind of oversized house sock, sort of like the Sunday socks but this pattern is free, which makes it kind of a bonus. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the ones that I have started. I am making these for my husband, not as a Christmas gift, just as kind of something, I, he needs to have something for toasty toes as the temperature starts to drop. I'm knitting these two at a time. That's why I have all these little balls of yarn here and a couple more over there. But this is what I have so far. There's lots of little ends going on because I haven't quite mastered how to knit two at a time with different colors and not have just a bunch of yarn ends going on, but I'm really loving these. I'm gonna talk more about these on the next episode of the podcast, but you can see here just how cute they're going to turn out with the color scheme that I have going on here. But yeah, this is going to be the Family Knit Work Socks and these are being knit for my husband who is six foot five, 
slender with a size 13 foot. So God willing and the creek don't rise, I will have those done before the temperatures drop. In my number one spot, I wanted to include a headband. Headbands can be a really versatile gift. I feel like everybody can find a use for a really good headband, whether they're going for a jog, they're just spending time outside in the cold, working around the yard. The only thing is, is I feel like whenever I search out headbands on Ravelry, I'm kind of overloaded with a lot of really girly, um, floofy, overly feminine headband options. And there's nothing wrong with that. But for the sake of this video, I wanted something definitely gender neutral that would be kind of versatile, easy to throw on for anybody. And the one that I found, I feel fits the bill perfectly. And that is called the reversible headband. Now, if you're familiar with the Zolda Teague's Muscle Burra hat, it has that reversible double knit kind of design detail going on, which I really love. This, I feel like is doing the same thing, but in a headband. And because it has a really simple stitch design, it's just stockinette stitch. It's just a real nice gender neutral option. And it's super, super cute on. Love that. And it's nice and wide. It covers your ears. It looks like it's super comfortable to wear. So, so lovely. It is five US dollars. It's not a free design. It uses DK weight yarn. Now it says it's, yeah, it's using Madeline Tosh Tosh DK. It looks like a really great way to do some stash busting and you're getting to use two different colors here. So you can have a lot of fun matching up colors in your stash. I really loved this color combo here. So cool. You can have the solid color bring out like one of the colors in the variegated color, which is a lot of fun. But I find this to be a really versatile option for anybody who may want to use a headband. So I'm really loving this. This is the, again, reversible headband. The design is by Laura Reinbach Designs. But again, back to where we were with that. Number one on my eight fast and affordable gift knits for anyone that you can have done in time for the 2022 holiday season the reversible headband. So I'm going to share with you my bonus pattern for a potential gift knit. And that is what I'm actually wearing right now. I shared this on one of my shorts just today, actually. It's been in my um, collection of hand knits for quite some time. I wanna say that I knit this back in 2011 and I love it. This is called the Francisca hat. I don't know what to do with my hands. This is called the Francisca hat. It is by Amanda Schusger. Sh Schusger. I think that's right, but it is the Francisca hat. So I'm going to show you, get you in there. It's kind of, um, it's just like a basic slouchy beanie style hat, but it has this really lovely kind of antler cable motif going on on the side here. And it's only this column that has the cable motif, which I think is really cool because you get the basic slouchy beanie look with that added detail off to the side. I chose to knit this in this really dark charcoal gray color way back when. At the time, I guess I didn't think much of it. It's not something I would choose to use for this particular design now, but I really love that I did it because it makes this super wearable. You can throw it on and it's kind of that basic, um, goes with, with everything hat, which I love. It is a little bit more slouchy and I know that that's not completely on trend right now. I think the trend now is less slouch, more of that kind of stacked on top look where it's almost like a cone shape. That's definitely more popular now, but I feel like some of us find that we just look better in something that has a little bit of a slouch in the back, not too much, but just a little bit. And this definitely has that. I knit this using an alpaca yarn, and I can't remember exactly what the yarn was that I used for this. Oh, I used Blue Sky Fibers Surrey Merino to knit this, which is 40% merino, 60% alpaca. I haven't had the issue where this thing stretches completely out of shape, but I do think that it has grown in size slightly um, since I first knit this. I really love the Surrey um, kind of softness with this design though. It has a really lovely halo. So I don't know. I don't know if I would, I would think if I were to do it again, I might stick to something similar because I just love the way it feels on my head. And I do love that nice halo with the design. So yeah, so that's the Francisca hat. That's my bonus. And I'm wearing it for you today, sharing it with you. And you are getting that bang for your buck with that really nice cable motif on the side. It's a really fast, but also beautiful gift knit option for somebody who's a little bit more discerning or who can really appreciate, you know, a nice 
hand knit hat. All right, guys, that was my eight fast and affordable gift knits for anyone this season. I hope that that was helpful. Let me know down in the comment section if any of these stood out to you, or if you have some suggestions for fast and affordable patterns, you can leave them down below in the comment section or anything that you think is worth looking at. If we need something fast to knit for this season, leave all of that down below in the comment section. I had a few of you ask about leaving hyperlinks down in the comments. Yes, you can leave hyperlinks down there and then folks can link right off to the pattern that you're mentioning. It's super helpful to do it that way. And I appreciate it because that way we can continue to provide some useful information to folks that are watching the video. I thank you so much for taking the time to spend some time with me today. If you took anything away from this video or enjoyed yourself, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and you can click the bell icon to receive notifications anytime I upload something new. I'm uploading twice a week on Wednesdays and on Sundays. In the meantime, if you'd like to watch some more, don't forget to click on the video at the very end of this episode. I'll make sure to put something there that you're sure to enjoy. And until Sunday, when next we meet, happy knitting, happy making, happy whatever it is that you're doing. Take care, be well, and I will see you soon. Bye.